hi guys so i'm in the middle of decluttering because we have i don't know if your kids grew like ours <laughs> ours have really grown so they've grown quite a lot of stuff and then uh, in the process i am going to be going to do some shopping um if you watched our video of when we didn't have our help and i was doing the laundry i said i showed you the way i have to just buy a lot of stuff because again as i said they've outgrown and then all these trousers <sighs> let me show you guys especially the boys clothes i mean look at this look you see i'm telling you like 90 percent of my boys trousers are like that the rest of the places they look so good I mean, it looks like a relatively really nice and new trouser for staying at home. And then you come here and then look. Look at this, guys. So I don't even know. Honestly, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know whether to donate them. But do you really want to donate clothes that are torn? But if you, if you had a, a way of just patching them up, that would be different. So anyway, the plan today is I need to do a bit of shopping and then i had already looked through oh wait oui, let me show you all these trousers i had gone through this before as i was putting away clothes most of the trousers are just uh, these are for our four-year-old look look you guys how and why and you know us guys are homeschoolers look at this us guys are homeschoolers, so our kids don't really wear uniform, but for them, <laughs> there is now no condemnation, you guys. As is, our four-year-old literally has no clothes to wear. I mean, look. Mm? If you have girls, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but yeah, it's bad. It's bad, guys. It's really bad. Okay. <laughs> So that's the current situation okay <sighs> i'm excited you're here i just need to get people fed breakfast then i hit the road then i'll show you guys what i get So what I'm thinking is, because there is, I um, think twice, not too far from me, I'm thinking I first go there, and then I I see what they have on, why am I talking with Shizu? I see what they have on offer, and then when I'm going now to the real market, I'll be able to compare, so that if the prices are better, I'll just come back, and then I'll just pick everything I need from there. I'm really excited because this is my first time going to, I think, twice. I've had so many good things about this. is not sponsored by the way, please. I just want to go see what they have on offer. I'm excited. And then I have a lot of market shopping in the supermarket. <laughs>
So I'm thinking, think twice, um, interesting experience in the sense of, let me sit down, I tell you. So, uh, hmm, hmm. it's so nice and neat and organized. I found the prices to be a bit high, but that could be the prices for everywhere. I mean, let me go. Oh, yeah, I'm almost dropping the phone. Let me go and check out now the real market, and then we can compare. I was mostly interested in kids' clothes, so I needed trousers, as I said, and shorts. I mean, trousers and t-shirts, mostly, and pajamas. I found the prices to be a bit on the higher side because I could get those at 150 That was the last time I did shopping. So let me go see if those prices have changed and how they compare. Also, I like, you guys, I don't know whether it's just me. I like sifting through a pile of clothes and digging for treasure. Here, <laughs> yeah, you don't get that experience. But it's nice if you're in a rush, then you just pick and go. Okay, let's go to the market now and compare. But first, I think I'll first go buy the, the greens, the fruits and the vegetables from the other market market. And then go to the clothes market. And then we'll see our haul. I might come back to think twice, depending on the prices, but let's see. Check out those rain clouds, guys. Check out the rain clouds. I mean, I love the rain, but now it's a race. Ooh, I hope I'll be done before it pours. I hope it pours. Guess what, you guys? I'm in Kitengela town. There are no hawkers. I know it looks like these are hawkers, but no, there's no only a lot, lot more. Oh my gosh. Natu jacket, you know that? Jacket, this is the Latatu. I'm seeing it the Latatu. Okay. So I'm back from the market and from all the shopping. And I'm making the fastest dinner that I know how to make. And because people have been requesting for this. This is, I know you've seen us do this so many times here. So, you know, nothing new here. But the kids absolutely love this. And then once this is roasting away in the oven, that's what I'm going to unpack. My stuff is still in the bags. Because people need to eat fast before we show the internet family what we, what we managed to get. I felt like it was quite a successful shopping trip, by the way. Very successful. And I can't wait to show you. But for the clothes that I bought, which were like a lot, I'm thinking I first put them in the washer. Then, you know, have them cleaned, iron those that need ironed, so that when I show you, you'll be able to appreciate their complete goodness, you know? So this is a look of my tiny grocery haul and what I managed to get today. And in case you're wondering, let me tell you just how the prices were. So that by the end of this year, when I do the next grocery haul, then we'll compare the prices and see whether we are actually winning as a country or losing. Okay. So I bought this and I went to the market, the proper market for the fruits. So these pineapples were going for 120 shillings. By proper market, I mean here on Mombasa Road, the properest market you can find is in Kitengela. So 120 for this. In my kitty, the last time I was there, this would be 60 bob, but you know what? It's not my kitty and that's for sub. I bought two trays of eggs because I'm preparing to do a freezer meal, uh, freezer meal cooking session tomorrow i'm making breakfast freezer meals so look out for that video 
So I needed a lot, a lot of eggs. 400 shillings. Oh my goodness. And you know, one more reason to keep my own chickens. But then that process, that, pro that project is coming along very well because I've already identified who to make my chicken coop. So yeah, in case you were holding your breath about my chicken, <laughs> that's why we have reached with that story. I bought some courgettes. I, I wasn't doing like a proper large grocery haul because we've already done our freezer meals for this month. In case you're interested, check out that video. But I did need some courgettes or zucchinis for some muffin muffins that I'm making, healthy muffins. So I bought five. One was going for 20 shillings. That's 100 for five. And the same for the cucumbers. I bought this because I need to make a salad. One was 20 shillings as well, interestingly enough. This, this, this melon, I almost called it a pineapple. This melon, they were selling 50 shillings per kilo. In my kitty, I'm telling you, it's either 40 shillings, 38 or 35. Hmm. The bananas made me cry right there in the market because this lady was selling three for 25, take it or leave it. Eh? And they're not even at the best. You'd think at the best, just you need GMO size. No, it's just normal size. Uh, anyway, I bought because now we have to make smoothies and all that jazz. Bought this large cabbage at 50 bob. I was okay with that price. Now these are the potatoes that have remained after I have peeled about half of them. 800 shillings for a bucket, you guys. 800 shillings. Hmm. Uh, I found someone who was selling to me these oranges. at <laughs> One for 20 shillings. Boy, did I walk. Did I walk? I walked off and then I found someone else who was selling them at uh, 10 shillings, which was yeah, my price. These, these colored peppers today were very, 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 what do you call it? Very good, well priced because one was 50 shillings. I was so jazzed. Again, more salads loading. I was hoping to make a salad tonight, but I got home late. Plus, I'm so tired, you guys. I was working overnight. I'm, I feel like a zombie. So we just need to sleep. We'll eat what we eat. <laughs> a pa an apple. The, the one Eve ate in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> okay, I know it wasn't an apple. 35 shillings. Yes. If you can't afford it, walk, sister. My gosh. I'm telling you, people are not smiling today. And then I bought avocados. One, one of these was 30 shillings. So one, one's supposed to be ripe for today, but uh, tomorrow is another day. Again, a sister is tired, I need to sleep. Mango season is back. Tag your favorite Kamba friend and, and just send them hugs. Maybe they can get you. Oh, it's hey, there's someone who owes me mangoes. So anywho, how much was one of these? 20 shillings, 25, 30, I forget. But they're extremely unripe. They're literally rocks. But she said they, they, they ripen up pretty fast. So that was it from the market. Very simple, very easy. I was, I went very quickly because the rain, as you saw. Anyway, then I went to the supermarket because I needed all this stuff. Most of these are ingredients for my freezer meal session tomorrow. Uh, starting with this sandwich, sandwich ham. I bought two. One is oh, 450. Yeah, and it's not even like that. The healthiest things to eat for you. But anyway. They're yummy and we only live once. So I bought two. I bought this. This, oh my goodness, this chicken sausages were on offer today, which is so good because lately they've been so expensive. 650, I think, and normally they're 730, 750 there. Bought one of these. I bought three of these buns from Naivas because I want to make uh, breakfast sandwiches for the freezer. If I was a, a better woman, I would have made them from scratch, but I am not. I'm just a woman who is struggling to be better. <laughs> and sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. So sometimes I'll make my own, but most times I will just buy, and I bought the brown ones. But if you ever go and find they don't have, I know you know this, but allow me to feel important. If you go and find they don't have them in the shelves, just go and ask in the bakery. So these ones were packed for me specially. I felt so important. <laughs> and then also, I bought some desiccated coconut. It was on my list. I don't remember what I'm making with this for the breakfast. By the way, those freezer meals for, oh my gosh, you guys will love them. I'm so excited because ah, breakfast has been a bit uh, meh lately over here. So I'm excited. I don't know what I'm using this for, but I think it's yummy. I didn't need blueberries, but I have such a soft spot for, soft spot for blueberries. I bought these. 
don't ask how much they were because you will cry and one of us crying is enough strawberries um 240 shillings yeah i bought these because i was ran out uh some weeks ago and i'm telling you we can never seem to find the match box we are only in the match box is forever getting lost this it's so handy um bought some paprika for some breakfast potatoes i bought this because uh we are out of carbohydrates to eat with our freezer meals i needed oats for the freezer meals that i'm making tomorrow but i've only found these they're a bit expensive 450 because normally naivas they have a brand that goes for 380 370 but now and i needed two because i'm using quite a lot of oats i think oats are very healthy for breakfast but correct me if i'm wrong uh speaking of running out of carbohydrates for eating with our freezer meals i bought more white hey maize flour what no this was a <laughs> i thought this was wheat flour oh my goodness oh man oh my goodness oh okay well there's that <laughs> i bought maize flour thinking it was wheat flour mm. Then this Dawat long grain rice was on offer, by the way, and so I decided to buy. I'm looking for the best long grain rice in Kenya. You know, I mean, the best to buy. It's not like there's a competition. It's because I want to buy wholesale. I want to buy like 10 kgs or 20 kgs. But first, I want to make sure like it's the best. Because, you know, you know you just, I can't talk. I'm sleepy. You don't want to have 20 kilos of something that comes out looking like ugali. So please let me know down in the comment section below which one you think, whether you think this is good or which one you think is best to buy whole grain. Don't tell me Moya because... Moya is there are so many Moya rices there. I didn't know which one was which. And then I bought 10, 10 liters of milk. We still have some in the freezer, but I do need to make yogurt for the freezer meal video tomorrow. So I'm going to be boiling that and making yogurt before I sleep. And that's why I have my culture. And we need to make yogurt without culture this year, you guys. I know how to do it and we'll do it. Yeah. And I bought these ones. In my mind, I would think they are raisins, but they were calling them grapes. Tell me if raisins are not dried grapes, you guys. So that is my haul. Love it. I'm really looking forward to that freezer milk because tomorrow because, yeah, it is what it is. My sausages have not burnt, by the way. They're a nice brown color. So I'm just waiting for my, my, my what? My potatoes. They should be ready by now. People are starving. Let's eat. So as I said, uh, when it comes to the clothes, I'm going to show you after I've washed them. And since it's late at night, we'll wash them first thing in the morning, dry, and then I'll show you what we bought. So I was aiming to buy clothes for one year for the kids. So and I think the money I used for enough clothes for one year for four children, it's worth it. I can't wait to show you. I'm really excited for, for what I got. So yeah, let's eat dinner. Guys, what is this? Please, somebody, anybody tell me. What is this? So I was clearly on a roll today. What am I supposed to do with this? These are not oats. Oats are big. Oats are chunky. Oats are... And I know it says here quick porridge oats. But you know, in some countries, people call oatmeal porridge. So I didn't even think much about it. Man. Oh, no, man. <laughs> and I bought two for good measure. Two. Seriously.
so it's time for me to wash all this because of course they were on the ground and then it should be washed now they normally come with a smell you know that smell of secondhand clothes so because of that i'm going to use aerial pods because they have a really nice and it's finished they have a really nice uh, fragrance to them but then when you use pods you don't even need to use uh, fabric softener because it's inbuilt okay but if you want to be extra extra and you know me i like to be extra you can also put some leno scent boosters okay and then also because the clothes were again on the ground i mean you saw the way i was buying them some oxyclean sort of like bleach but for whites and for colors and for all that jazz and that's it okay i know normally i like to use uh, the tide free and gentle for kids clothes but for this time let me just use aerial because I, again i want to remove that smell and that's it so if you're interested in tide pods as i always say or any laundry pods aerial tide scent boosters you want to take your laundry to the next level this year please okay i will link them all down below i've already picked out some white ones that are going to be hand washed but that's for later but now thank you sweetie let me just wash this So clearly I'll have to do this in two rounds because my washer is full. There we go. So as far as the trousers are concerned, I bought most of them at 150 shillings and I'm pretty happy with them by the way. I mean, some of them really look nice, but what I will say is I didn't find um, official trousers like, like, the, like I, we could go to church with. Most of them were really just, you know, for hanging out at home, uh, sporty and all that which is where we have a, our biggest problem with it. The ones for church and whatever, those ones are still good because of course people don't crawl with them and play football with them and all that, so they're still fine. But I feel that if I want to get more official ones, even as they grow taller and outgrow them, even if those ones are still good, then I'll have to make a trip to toy and all that. But the price was way, way, way better <laughs> compared to compared to the price at, um, at, at Think Twice, yes. And by the way, I wanted to show you guys this trouser. I found one exactly like this, I think, twice. I don't know whether you saw it. I mean, exactly. This is by who? Some place called Sucre. It's not like a shop that I know. But I was so jazzed. I bought this one, at, I think, in Gikomba. But this is one of the ones we decluttered. So, yeah. I was so jazzed. I almost took it, but you know, the price was like, uh-uh. So, basically, I want to put this away. I was actually hoping to film uh, how to organize the wardrobe with me or how I do it, but I've run out of time. I need to go make dinner for my people. So I'll just put this away. Let me know in the comment section whether that's something you'd like to do with me. We just sort of go through organizing. By the way, it's not like I'm perfect at organizing. I'll just show you how I do it. Then you can see whether or not it works for you. But in the meantime, let me just, I'll just leave this here for now. I need to go make dinner. And then once people have eaten and they are watching a bit of TV because it's a weekend, then I'll come and put this away Shh, like that. So my cameraman has told me to be realistic. 
and to accept and admit that if I, got, if I go downstairs to make dinner, I will not come back here until I'm too sleepy to put them away. So, <laughs> yeah, it's happy when you are known that well. So let me just put them away. <laughs> Gosh. But now I had not decluttered. This is where we put all our going out tops and t-shirts, the ones that we don't hang. Uh, but this drawer in itself needs attention. See how full it is. Ay ay ay. I don't think this is going to work. Okay, and some of them now need to be home ones because they are a bit shaggy shaggy. Uh, baby, how will this work? Come on, talking to Miss Lillian or was I dreaming? Dreaming. No, I'm talking to Miss Lillian. Miss Lillian is not back yet. She is. Yeah, that's what I mean. Honey, you. Is that just what Mm-hmm. Guys, I bought this for 50 bob. 50 she links. Uh, let me show you guys this trouser also. I'm really just, oh, this is the, I think the one official trouser that I got. It's Old Navy, by the way, that's a brand I know. 150 shillings, which is slightly over a dollar if you don't live here. Loved this one. I need to get more of this for stepping out and stuff. So well in the fridge that's why i like to make it so i can make a big bunch of it like this then we put it in our fridge for the dressing i'm just making the usual vinaigrette which is olive oil apple cider vinegar some honey and boom we are done i did an entire video uh showing you guys different types of salads and different types of dressings in case you're interested i will link it here okay do kids the kids really really if you want your kids to eat vegetables 
especially raw ones. Salad is the best way to go. Wow, this, hey, my hand is from the fridge. It is so hard. And I like to put it in the fridge because of ants. I know it hardens up. Remember to always taste your dressing to make sure you get the perfect balance between the acidity ah, and the sweetness. This time I'm tasting in a bowl because I don't want just one bite. I want everything. Okay, let's do this. I'm already dancing in advance, guys. This looks so good. Perfect bite. Here we go. Ah. Mm. 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 I feel healthy. Just that one bite. Let me tell you, you just don't love shopping for food and clothes here. I love shopping for also kitchen items. And if you want to have to know all the tea about where to buy those, I've done an, a video on my Kamukunji, uh, Kamukunji hall because Kamukunji is the place to be. So I did a fantastic video and I'll leave it here for the next of your shopping spree. I'll see you for there. Bye.